Hello, welcome to Miss G's art. Today, you need some paper. It could be white or black. You will need some colors, crowns, color pencils, or markers. It's up to you what you like. So today, we just finished watching a video talking about Greg Mike, he's a street mirrorless. We'll do one of his characters, Larry the Loudmouth. So I made my own Larry the Loudmouth. Mine's a nice giant version. I know he's always had something to say, so I made mine says art is great. Mine's a nice big version of him. But we will create our Larry the Loudmouth, but in space. We also finished watching a video about space. So I want to make our own space scape. Is like landscape and seascape. Instead of have land or a lot of water, it's an outer space. So you get to design your own. You notice my other Larry Loudmouth was square, and this one was circle. You could choose any shape you want to do. And we could do different um, planets, we could do stars, different things. If you don't have black paper to do yours, uh, outer space, you always could color your white paper. So start up to draw our Larry the Loudmouth. Decide what shape does he he is. Do you want to be a circle, triangle, even a heart? It's up to you. Once you choose the shape that you want, you draw yours out. His most popular shape he is a square. So I'm gonna draw a nice square. This could be done with construction paper. If you want to set up drawing everything color in your paper, you can always cut yours out in construction paper. I did this with construction paper and I cut and glued it and it's like a collage. Remember collage is layering of paper. So either, either or. Then what expression do you want Larry Loudmouth to be? Do you want to be happy, sad, what? Just decide. And that will be the shape of your mouth. I'm just going to do just a square mouth. Kind of rectangle. Then I'm going to draw some teeth. It's up to you how you want to draw your teeth. Mine's going to kind of be pointy. But always, of course, you can always change up your shape. Does not need to look like mine. I'm going to draw some bottom teeth. And maybe a nice tongue. Then I'm gonna draw his eyes. So how do I draw I wanna draw his eyes? So you could draw one eye, two eyes, you even have four eyeballs. It's up to you how you wanna draw the eyes. Maybe I'm gonna draw four. So I'm gonna draw some rainbow lines. Of course yours. Oops, mine's only fit three. Remember, you could personalize it any way you want. It does not need to look exactly like mine. It's okay if you change up your style of the art. That's okay. Find just a nice example to kind of give you a reference point how you want to do your art. If you want to think of a certain character, like Spongebob or something, if you want to base on your little alien creature or that, that's okay. Maybe I draw a little nose. Then I'm gonna decide what color you want your little loud mouth to be. Maybe you want it to be blue or different colors. And you just color it however you want. You can use a crayon, you use markers, you could color pencils, or maybe you wanna use all of that. That's fine, you get to choose. If you're able to have construction paper instead of coloring, you will cut and glue your designs together. But for right now, I'm gonna just show you how to color. If you were to want your layered amount mouth to be polka dots, you can to do polka dots or different patterns. I haven't thought of, that's okay. That is tongue being red. Maybe you want to make it pink or purple. Since he's not going to be our alien creature. 
for our space gate. And you can keep continue coloring how you wish. And then this will be either you could draw it on your paper and your space gate be on the same paper. Or you want to cut it and glue it to a separate paper. Or you could cut and glue it onto your flat paper. I'll probably let you decide how you want to do it. Then, of course, he always has something to say. So, what do you want him to say? So, what expression? Remember to make it school appropriate. Let's try to choose a positive message. You want to like, have a great day, or maybe you have a certain quote or phrase you like to say. You could do that too for your loud mouth. It's up to you. Think of a phrase, and then we're going to make a speech bubble. It's kind of like in comic books how our characters talk. So we're going to make, it's up to you how you want to do your shape of your speech bubble. I'm going to make mine kind of match my loud mouth since he's, he's kind of square. So I'm going to make my speech bubble that shape. It does not need to be connect. So it's kind of going to go up and around. It's kind of like a curved letter V. Then go up. And I'm going to cross. It's kind of like a square. Remember, square all sizes are the same. But mine turning more like a rectangle. That's okay. And my loud mouth. I'm going to make mine say, of course. I'm going to do something about art. You can write your word. Okay. Art is cool. An exclamation mark. Then there's my llama. Then on your space scape, I will cut and glue this to mine. And to do your stars, if you have construction crown, those are crowns that work really well on construction paper, and they, the, their colors pop right out of your paper. To do some of your stars. I would choose white. If you do not have construction crowns, you could just use a regular white crayon. You do tiny circles. These regular crowns on black paper, they will not pop out. You have to draw it on a white paper and glue it separately. If you ever wonder how to draw a star that sparkles, kind of since it's really bright, do a two long lines and they're opposite from each other then right here two short lines it's kind of make it seems like it's kind of sparkling you can scatter those on your paper if you want some sparkle you may want to do your background of our seascape sorry spacescape first before you cut and glue it makes it easier if you don't want to do the sparkle star that's okay and also, if you want to add a galaxy, um, remember that galaxy has lots of stars and some planets inside. You could choose to do that. You can make it as big or small. I'm going to do mine right in the middle. I'm going to make a nice big galaxy. So I'm going to draw a nice oval. Now I'll draw a bigger oval around it. Now it's kind of like a donut. That's fine. Then I'll draw a little line in the middle. Now you'll see what color do you want your galaxy to be. So it could be blue, purple, pink, whatever you like. Then you want to start adding other colors of your galaxy. So maybe I'm choosing this little apricot color. Let's go around it. It's up to you how many lines. You can make it as colorful as you want. Also, I'm going to show you this on another paper. On the white paper, kind of helps you, makes it pop. It's going to go around and around. Mine going to be nice and full of warm colors for my galaxy. Maybe it has a lot of gases in it. You can make it as big or as small as you want. Maybe I just want a little pop of cool color, kind of help it pop it out a little bit more. 
and there's my galaxy. Then I was able to cut my loud mouth out and glue it in his little plant. I'm gonna show you this again on white paper. So you will draw two rings, kind of like a donut. One, two, the second one's always bigger. I kind of press hard on my crown. Then you're gonna think, what colors you want for your galaxy? So usually you just kind of go a little bit around. You draw a lot of curved lines. So I think this is a good part to think about what colors you want to do yours. Of course, you don't have to use crayons. I'm just showing you. And remember, they have a lot of gases in the galaxy, you know, especially in the outer rings. So if you want to do a lightly kind of shading our galaxy, you do that too. But there's no wrong way to do it. Remember, there are also different shapes of galaxies. And once you're done, you can always do it on white paper and glue it to your black paper. Also, you can make planets, different shapes, planets, and circles. It's up to you how to do your galaxy. I want you to have fun. And once you're done, you will cut it and glue it to your black paper. Or just color it. If you did it on one paper, we just keep coloring it around your paper. And there you go. Make you Larry the Loudmouth Space Gate. Don't forget, when things are farther away, draw them smaller. When things are closer to you, draw them bigger. Have fun.